We are NXT. Welcome to NXT. We are live from Bloomingham, Bloomington, in Illinois. Why do I know that? Uh, uh, yeah, Mike's back. Yeah. Yeah. If you missed last week, Mike came back. Back on the commentary table. He's also the tech guy now, apparently, which he needs to fix that for you guys. Which, yeah, I, I don't even know why it's acting like this. We're going to kick off NXT Hopefully with a rematch okay. from Tables, Ladders, and Chairs this past Sunday. Um, okay, is one of the issue this? The Usos. The tornado tag of Tables? Pretty sure it's a tables match. I could be wrong. All I know it's a tag match. So. It's going to be the Dudleys versus the Usos. Of course, Jey Uso. Jey Uso thought he could get it done last night on SmackDown. Just came up a little short. Jimmy, conspicuous by his absence. Yeah. But they've been down since that with that day one ish, you know. Yeah. Who do you go with on this one? I mean, the Usos are SmackDown guys, but but the Dudleys are the freaking Dudley boys. Yeah. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it's a tornado tag match. Making their way to the ring first, from Dudleyville, at a combined weight of 565 pounds, Bubba Ray and Divine, the Dudley Boys. Hey, Dick. Hey. That's some generic music for some reason. Yeah. I'll talk about tonight's main event just a little bit, but uh, the Dudleys, because we mentioned, we felt we sucked in a tag team tables match. You claim to have a victory in one of those. Yeah. I just don't disagree. And their opponents from San Francisco, California, at a combined weight of 479 pounds, the Oso! Smart. Did the belts? She didn't mess up the money in the bank. Jimmy Uso, just somebody in the bank. That's. I forgot that. It's been a long time since Money in the Bank. No, October. Uh, that's true. He doesn't flash around with some Noah guys in real life. Yeah, we know. Uso is making their NXT debut tonight. He never competed before. This is a tornado tag. Jay Uso goes right after Bubba. Eve on after Jimmy. You know, Jimmy and Jay were born at the same time. It can't be at the exact same time. It's possible. Of course, the Usos, the sons of the legendary Rikishi. They were the Tornado DDT in this Tornado Tag Team match. 
Jimmy is uh, on a roll against Devon. Devon, oh, and Bubba. Bubba. Devon, D D D W. Jimmy rolls on to to Jay. Jimmy brings J Devon back in the ring. Oh, this communication. A part of Jimmy and Jay Uso. Bubba. And Jay, or Jimmy rather. Remember, anything goes in a tornado tag team match. Bubba escapes to the elbow drop by rolling under the bottom rope. Big boot to Jimmy. Jay, over and under. Taking out Devon. And Bubba. So trying to double team Devon. Jimmy and Jay are in control. Jay goes to the top. Squat headbutt. Trying to hit that last night on the game to no avail. Jimmy. He turns Bubba inside out. Your back is what you'd love to be doing comfort. Yeah, I know. Jimmy brings Bubba back in. Other Usos trying to put the Dudleys back on lockdown. It's possible. Oh! And Bubba loses his weight. Oh my god! Devon! Miscommunication from Bubba! Now, now the Dudley boys, despite the, the miscommunication. And Jimmy Uso kicks out. That's keeping the Usos alive. Let's go another cover. He got one this time. goes for the cover. Devon sudden. What's Devon setting up for? Didn't matter. Hold on. Running kick. Uh oh. And Devon from behind. And a sit out power ball from Bubba. Welcome back, Steve. Uso. Here are your winners, the Dudley Pools. 
The Dudleys clear the ring of the Usos. This ring belongs to the Dudleys. Welcome to NXT, guys. The Usos came, saw, and seen defeat again. Coming up next, we have a number one contenders battle royal. It's going to be Rich Swan, Cedric Alexander, E. Brian Kendrick, Finn Bauer, Pebble, and James Ellsworth. Who will become number one contender for the Cruiserweight title this Sunday at Bash the Beach? Find out. My money. Well, Rich Law had a great return last year. Good earn him back to the number one contender spot. He never lost. And that one, former Sidori champion, has to want to get back. Because that was the inside the chase. D. Brian Kendrick trying to get his title back. D. Brian Kendrick actually lost the title to Neville. He lost to TJP. Either way, here we go. Extraordinary man that does extraordinary things. Of course, this side of Finn Bauer is the cool side. And then he's got his demon. And he brings up the demon when he needs it. And the demon brings up the over. Balls for his championship here. Our next two versus SmackDown series. Of course, Bauer has the Bauer Club. Scarlet is on the counter bullet ball. Comes the man with a plan, I pick the witness. Introducing next from Venice Beach, California, weighing 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. 
She's won this match. It's always the game that I've won. Introducing next, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing 176 pounds, this is James Ellsworth! Well, James Ellsworth told me backstage that any man with two hands has a fighting chance. Oh, what's coming back? Yeah. Don't go, Mom. Don't go, Mom. Don't go, Mom. Yeah, he's got perfect. Yeah. And introducing the final participant from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 205 pounds. Cedric Alexander! Who's your pick to win this match, buddy? Do you go with the newbie in James Ellsworth? Do you go with Cedric Alexander, who's been fighting for a chance? Do you go with the former? 
Cruiserweight Champion Neville. What about only three times Cruiserweight Champion? Brian Kendrick. What are you doing? The, the returning Rich Swan. Who's been on, even though a lot of times we don't have to What do you go with Finn Balor? The extraordinary man that does extraordinary things. This match has begun. Here goes Neville. Rich Swan fighting back. Oh, Kendrick catches Neville. Swan's high power bomb from Kendrick. Look for a super kick. Cedric denied. Cedric is balling. Look at Ellsworth. Neville goes back to power. And a super kick from B. Brian Kendrick. Oh, we have a super kick for <laughs> Indeed, or, or it could be a super kick face off. Cedric so out, downer almost a little bit rich. Uh, it's all more than that insecurity level. Right in the back of the head. Oh. And Neville, I risk no reward. Rich Swan goes after Neville now. Super kick. Starting. I'm going to try to eliminate B. Brian Kendrick. Kendrick stays in. Remember, you got to admit, Cedric, uh, Cedric Swan, Kendrick, and Neville are all not strangers to this match. Even Ken Fowler has experience. He's never won one of these. Neville fighting back. Drop kick to the knee of Swan. Oof. Now here comes James Ellsworth. And there's a super kick to Neville. And Kendrick's gone. Who eliminated Brian Kendrick? I wonder. Stereo. Neville. German suplex. Swanee. And a drop kick from Neville. And the Royal White Suplex from James! They eliminate Neville, they eliminate all the former Cruiserweight Champions! Except for Swan, yeah. Uh, yeah, I forgot Swan is... I forgot Swan actually held the champion. That's what happens with, uh... Absence. Absence. Yeah, it's a hard girl fonder. Well, it's Sergeant Alexander. Ellsworth is on the ropes, too. Ellsworth survives. Oh my God, Swan, Swan is gone. It was a popular choice to win this, and now he's gone. Is it your choice? Neville lands on his feet. I think Slayer like Alexander might have a chance. Neville's not gonna let Ellsworth get any recovery time. Oh no, Neville dropped Ellsworth on his head! Oh. What was that about having two hands and a fighting chance? Power move to eliminate Cedric! Cedric fights back! Wait a minute. James Ellsworth is fighting back! And counter from uh, so much for Ellsworth. And Neville and Kendrick and, and Alexander eliminate! In stereo! Neville, Neville might be getting a rematch against TJP! German! He 
You gotta admit, Neville's got the experience advantage. Sure, I mean, he's a two time cruiserweight champion looking to tie Kendrick for three. And Cedric Alexander has a plenty of chance. He, he might actually get this. Look for the lumbar check. That failed. And Neville is in firm control. It's reverse 450 degree splash. What do you call that? A negative 450? Uh, probably. Running uppercut. And a standing shooting star pro. Oh, that, that was a big splash, my bad. Kicks to the gut. Of Alexander, Alexander, fight time! And for the discus forearm. <laughs> oh my god. 2K? Why don't you fix your game? Oh no, never. Oh never! Oh my god! And try again. Red arrow! The quickness of Neville! He's up, and then he's down! Within a second! Indeed. Now he's gotta drag the dead weight of Cedric Alexander. Alexander doesn't have much dead weight. Oh, oh. He, he, oh my god. He, he. No way. No way. No way! Cedric Alexander with the upset! Oh my god! Here's your winner and new number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, Cedric Alexander! That, that was excellent. Let's see if we can let's see if we can find who eliminated Brian Kendrick. Was Kendrick already gone at this point? No, he's still in. I think it was James. Oh my god, James Ellsworth? Whoa! It's either James or Finn. Well, uh, we'll Neville to... dropped Ellsworth on his head. I think we'll have to look through it and uh, let you guys know. Look at that upset victory! Neville, Neville was had to be the favorite to win. Well, but between, Cedric was between him, Rich Swan, and Kendrick. Kendrick, the three, the three veterans. Three cruiserweight champions. Cedric Alexander is gonna try to get his first. TJP's got his second. Congratulations, Cedric Alexander. Indeed. A after after being tossed around like a rag doll for so long, you're, you're finally getting up there. Exactly. I, I can't wait to see you face TJP at Bash at the Beach. She's not going with Now it's time for a handicap match. Now here's the stipulation with this one. Asuka asked me for this. But I put a stipulation. If Asuka wins, she gets to pick whether she faces Lexi or Maya at Bash of the Beach. Well then. Uh, but if she loses, she has to face both of them. Oh. This is, this is a little intense. So either way, Oscar's facing one of these, one of these two, if not both. So Oscar, Oscar's made her intention that she wants Lexi's title. Lexi wants her title. Is a two on one handicap match. Set for one fall. Make your way to the ring first from Osaka, Japan. She is the Empress of Tomorrow.
She's also the NXT Women's Champion. Oh, baby. Still, still trying to learn. Yeah. Get him correct. Call this young person tomorrow. That is her nickname. You get him. I'll be a fool. She's been a member of the NXT Raw Service in Boston. Nothing to remind me of the day she came. Smackdown the That Becky won it. Kristen is the NXT Peter, Peter, which house is this? Um, I'm glad to see you. Uh, I personally don't know since I was mostly absent myself. Sure. Gotta find out. Introducing her opponents first, from Columbus, Ohio, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Alexa Blitz! Would that be a good time to remind you, or during the battle? Alright, Nick? Yeah, he totally does. It's some other. Get to the uh, I've watched like most of my But she's not like most girls. She's not like she's like most of them, but she's not like most girls. We'll get the ring and buy a jack. See what she did to soft tank. I'm probably good. That was not much. Sasha asked for that bad one. Well, I, well, Sasha didn't get hurt. I will say that. Thank goodness. She actually had like a fighting chance. But, like she learned and somehow. Oscar is looking right at Lexi. Down. Lexi tags out. Here comes Nia Jax. What a wuss move. You blame her? I mean, she's taken out both Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax before. Singles competition. Nia. Stronger. But Asuka's got that fire. We had that straight player like Becky Lynch, though. That tornado DDT! Excellent move by Oscar. Drops the elbow across the face of, a, of Nia Jax, and now she goes after Alexa Bliss. I have a back break. Now a power bomb. What's a push strike back The referee. She's gonna get a suspension. 
Whoa. Find something. Whoa, a suspension. Wow. Well, no, I should get a fine. A fine. Unless he's got a three hundred dollar fine. You don't put your hands on the official. Or your feet. Pop up power bomb from Nia Jax. Not bad. Not good enough. Oh, bro. Maya says she can do it, too. Maya's going to break her in half. Look at the power of Nia Jack. She grabbed her by the hair and tossed her halfway across the ring. And you know what I call that. Check out. A drop kick from Oscar. Leg drop from Nia Jax. Oscar was, oh, that Oscar was so close to facing both Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss someday. And the elbows again. Oscar, not this time. Oscar has fight. I have blocked. She's in a world of trouble right on now. She is. Another leg drop. Maya decides to sit there for a moment. Let it sink in. And of course. Alexa Bliss looking to pick up the scraps. And it won't work. Lots of bliss inside cradle. Well done, she's facing them full. There are your winners, the team of Nia Chats and the NXT Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. Score one for Team Rude. Well done. She came in and she picked up the straps. Then Sunday, Oscar loses the champion. Look at the besties. Look at the besties. Let's see all the world. Hey. Who's <laughs> music playing? We we've all seen it. She didn't do anything. She, she hit the inside cradle. That, that's just about it. So, speaking, of, speaking of women and tag teams, here we go. The iconic duo against the Bella Twins. Isn't that awesome? I believe this is the Bella Twins debut, if I'm not mistaken. Bella engaged to John Cena over on SmackDown. And this Brie Bella is married to Daniel Bryan, who's here on NXT. Kind of disappointing, but. Eh, disappointing. I was thinking about it. They can't be with their both. They can't be with their both. Yeah, how long did it take to find the post? Oh, 
got a propose of WrestleMania inside the middle of the ring. <laughs> yet, yet they actually proposed way before that. Only contest except for one fall. It is a women's tag team match. Making their way to the ring. The team of Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. The iconic duo. Of course, we've actually seen Peyton Royce in action. Billy Kay, we got, I don't think we've seen Billy Kay We were supposed to, a takeover, but that never happened. Yeah. And their opponents, from Scottsdale, Arizona. Nikki and Brie Bella, the Bella Twins! Push the tell them apart. Not because of the time to get the same thing. Uh, I Bell, of course, was the longest range of his surpassing AJ and Maurice. And they told him the third place now. And they hold the second place. And Ricky Bell, of course, would have remained the longest range of his champion unless we decided to bring him back. Here we go, we're going to start with Nikki and Peyton. Peyton Royce. Look at that. And a kick out from Bray. Nikki. Or Nikki, I meant Nikki. Ah. <laughs> sure you did. I seriously meant Nikki. Right. I can obviously tell the two apart, it's just that, I don't know, Bree was the first thing in my, first thing in my mind, sadly. If you go, of course, signature move is the Rack Attack, the Rack Attack 2, which is basically just an attitude joke. Of course, just, just, just take her, uh, Strauss's, uh, signature and just, yeah. Look at the long legs of Billy Kay. Kind of reminds me of Summer Rae over on SmackDown. Summer Rae will return to action next week on SmackDown. Question is against the move. To be decided. I haven't figured it out yet. Well, she got it. It's not Ronda Rousey. We shouldn't face it. Definitely not those two. I think we've seen enough MMA. <laughs> I mean, we got Lashley now, so... Uh, I'm talking about involving... Women, speaking I mean. of MMA, I heard there's a... PJ Styles has got a big opponent who's accepting his open challenge. You heard about his open challenge, right? Yeah. AJ decides he's going to be a fighting champ and defend the title every night. They can send Billy over the top rope. Honor a loser. Welcome to Loser Club, Weevil. Population, here. Elbow to K. Nikki with a spine buster. You ever think you see a spine buster on Nikki Bella? Probably not. And another spine buster. <laughs> Peyton Royce, trying to distract Nikki Bella. 
and there's the forearm from Nikki. I mean, it could be worse. Really? Billy can't. Billy can't get any offense in. Nikki, of course, thinks she's better than her than her sister. Three seems to disagree. Finally attack back to Peyton Royce. Nikki might eventually Nikki's eventually gonna have to tag in to Bree. Ooh! That was interesting. Put the kick to the back to the backside. Oh Bray breaks it up. Thanks for coming, Bray. Peyton Royce! Uses Nikki's signature, Nikki kicks right out. That was even enough. Drop kick from Nikki. And here comes Bree. Daniel Bryan has trained Bree Bella with submissions. Arm drag. Then again, are all the uh what's every woman has a submission as a finish. Oh, look at Charlotte. Well, post which was aggressive, to be honest. There goes Payton Royce. And Bree's got the yes chance. Uh, that backfired. Maybe not. For a cross body. I need the Harden position. Well deserved. Oh. There's the yes kicks. I know. Talk about originality. You had to use your husband's move. I swear, at one point, I'm sure they have. It's like Maurice using the skull crushing finale, which hey, she doesn't do. It wouldn't surprise me if she eventually did. And Peyton gets the tag to Billy Kay. Which I think was probably a bad idea. Considering that Billy's taking more damage. And Billy Kay, the muscle between the two teams. Drop kick. Three. Bring her back to the middle. <clears throat> Look at that. Trip. Well then. And here comes Nikki Bella. Inside cradle. <laughs> imagine, if we, imagine if we win two straight matches with inside cradle victories. Didn't switch. Whoa. Hey, Billy lands on her feet. No, her feet are on the ropes. Come on, Rev. Well, that wasn't even good enough. I swear, I'm afraid. You never realize when her feet are on the ropes. Tag to Peyton Royce. 
Nikki. Rock attack. There it is. Yarmar. Billy Kane makes the save. Now Bulldog. Peyton Royce dragging Nikki back to their corner. Headbutt. Ooh. Peyton makes the cover. Kick out by Nikki. He countered that easily. They're running me. The pen. Nikki still it wasn't easy. good enough. Makes it look easy. Good job. Good job, Breaker. And there it is. E to the face. Tapped in her sister, Bree. She's going to drag Peyton towards her corner. The Bella Bomb. There it is! That Death Valley driver from Peyton Royce. The iconic duo almost got a victory there. Almost. And breaking the eyes, Brie Bella. Their feet are on the ropes oh. again. But that still wasn't even good enough. Squash. Cross body. Not enough. The iconic duo have to realize who they're in the ring with right now. They're in the ring with the Bellatons. This isn't good. Oh no. Oh no. No. Oh, Head scissors from the top rope. Peyton makes the cover. One. How did Bree kick out of that? I'm guessing I'm guessing they totally learned how to be resilient from their husbands. There's a clothesline. And her foot's on the rope. The referee stops the count. It's about time. He realizes the rope break. Toe kicks. Like suplex for Bree. There goes Billy Kay. Driver, ouch, especially out there. That's gotta hurt. 
The NXT mat is less uh, reinforced than was on SmackDown. Nikki counters. The three, out of five. Billy Whoa. Kay brings the three back into the ring. Oh, oh the leg. Payne's gonna go for the pin. <laughs> that still wasn't even enough. Three counters. And there's the yes lock. Talk about originality. Welcome to NXT, iconic duo. Here are your winners. As a result of these submissions, the Bella Twins. Oh my God. Um. Okay. You got. You got to give. You got to give Payton Royce and Billy Kay a lot of credit. They helped the Arkans develop them as long as they really, but talk about originality. Thank you. Who actually is a little bit more? Well, you don't have to steal from your from your spouse. Just like Edge using the clam slam. The Bella Twins, nonetheless, successful in their debut match. Where is Bella? Oh, the strip club. John Warren Ellis. Not, not sure if I should feel bad for them or what. <laughs> Oh, this is a surprise. Oh, uh, Kevin Owens, uh, wow. Kevin Owens, of course, was eliminated from the Bad Beach series last week. His loss, oh, no, no, it, yeah, he lost to the law. It tickled. I, that never happened. But, uh, yeah, it but Mahal, the law won. Sure, I lost that so much that, uh, I got one, but that comes out, I think, four. This one's on the cover. Yeah, but what's that? I mean, I guess I could do it again, but... Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the face of America, Kevin Owens! No, not happy. <laughs> when does he ever? He, he, he. he never won against AJ. Yeah, AJ's got a key record against him. That's the only sad part. That is Kevin Owens. Oh, that's the only sad part. 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 Oh, that's the only sad Shut up and listen for a minute. I'm not going to yell over you, you loudmouth idiots. So keep your trap shut while I handle some business. I said shut up. Excuse me! <laughs> I had to do that. Yeah. Vicky vibes, anyone? How do I even summon the courage to come out here in front of you, petulant dregs, you filth, you swine? Simple. Because I don't care about you. I care about my career. And I care about settling business. My business. And I have business tonight and I need to settle it with another individual who, much like you, needs to learn his place. We're not going to wait until next week. We're not going to wait until the next big event. We're going to do this right here, right now. Jinder Mahal, get out here. Of course.
There's the Maharaja. Of course, Jinder Mahal is going to be in action next. Oh. Uh, against, uh, the Miz. Oh. I, I would say, uh, I'm definitely rooting for the Miz on this one. <laughs> You're actually going to root for Miz Roll? For one, it's Jinder Mahal. No, what you mean is, it's Jinder Mahal. Exactly, it's Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal out there. Your underwhelming reaction to being in the presence of greatness would be amusing if it weren't so pathetic. If anyone in this building had the slightest modicum of intelligence, they would realize what fools you are by taking for me for granted the single greatest athlete in NXT has ever been. Yeah, I, I think you're... There's nothing more annoying than a guest arrives uninvited. And while I'm in no mood to deal with an unwanted pest, rest assured, if you continue getting under my skin, I'll have no problem squashing you like a bug. His, his greatness? This one he was in 3MB. I can tell you're afraid of me. I can smell your fear. My nose is very powerful, and I can smell the fear from a mile away. I can smell it when I walk up that ramp, but I can smell it standing here in front of you. It's very pungent, like cowardice and weakness. I've accomplished things you couldn't even do in your dreams. I'm God's gift to this ring. And you? You're just God's mistake. One I intend to correct. Um, bringing God into this, are we? Yes, you can, God. Which is like, man, make that happen again. You don't deserve to be here in NXT. You're not up to the caliber that a superstar like me is. Were it up to me, you wouldn't be anywhere near a ring. I wouldn't even hire you to carry my bags, you peasant. You must be crazy. There must be something wrong with you, medically, where you're not thinking straight. Your marbles have been missing for more than 48 hours, and it's time you found them because you wouldn't enjoy my fist leading a search party into your face. <laughs> we all appreciate your words of wisdom, but I don't think any of us need to hear any more. So if you'll kindly find the exit and walk out calmly, we appreciate your obedience in advance. You think you can run me down? Me? I faced down legends in this ring and I conquered giants. What have you done that gives you the right to run me down? You best realize who you're dealing with. I can tell you right now. You can talk to talk to you. I also can't talk to you. I've squashed ants that are tougher than you. You're no threat to me. It's pointless. Fighting you wouldn't even last long enough to constitute a workout. It wouldn't even be long enough to build up an appetite for breakfast. Speaking of which, I'm hungry. So bye. <laughs> oh my god. Jinder Mahal just got run down by Kevin Owens. Indeed. Don't go anywhere because Jinder Mahal's next against the Miz. Words, 
so you really want the Miz to win this match. By the way, I don't know if you noticed that, but uh, Kevin Owens scored a perfect promo. Can't believe you're going with the Miz. I know, right? I'm just doing this because I, I, I think, like, the current position Jinder Mahal is in now. <laughs> Like, what happened to me? Did you watch SmackDown this week? No, I, I meant real SmackDown? Yeah, and I haven't. He laid out both Bobby Roode and Randy Orton. With the Coloss. By the way, who are the goofs behind him? Oh, God. He's part, he's part of these goddamn wackies here. Oh, the Miz is gonna have a problem. I mean, he doesn't have the Miz to him, sadly. Who needs the Miz to He does. Considering that Curtis Axel's not even on NXT. And again, these two aren't even on NXT either. But what's the point? Yeah. is a bash at the beach semi-final match Super one ball make his way to the ring from hollywood california weighing at 221 pounds the man got a baby girl on the way yeah he does Said he's gonna go to WrestleMania for the baby girl. He's gonna be the You know what? Like, how long is the day? You know what? Definitely. Ah, we all know that Roman Reigns is gonna win the other day. He's gonna go to the box. He's gonna go to the box. He's gonna go to the and we'll come back. <laughs> and his opponent, accompanied to the ring by the Saint Brothers. From Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, he is the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal! Ah, I'm better than I I like his song. Best song in WWE. Mm -hmm. Another rapper that made this song didn't even know who Jim is. He's gonna make this song. Yeah, to be honest, if I remember correctly, uh, he's actually fast playing, which is dang more fun. Yep. So, in the end, it's just a win win. Give him a half forward. Yeah, that, that, that laugh. It is right out of the box. Oh, God. No. Jinder Mahal cut Heath Slater loose. <laughs> Trying to prove why he doesn't need Heath Slater. Of course, Jinder Mahal, brother in law to the great Kali. Oh. No other match I want to see in the game. What? The Queen Javi Prison. Yes. That's never been in the game. To my I doubt it ever has been. But with, you know, last year, last year's Battleground, why not? Picking up the Hulk behind.
I'm so used to being on the so. Yeah. I know, it felt weird. Tinder Mahal. Guys, buddies. And so far, his buddies haven't helped. Thank you. Samir and Sunil Singh. Here goes the Miz. Right outside, up okay. to, to the single. Oh my god. Samir Singh throws Miz back into the ring. And Maharaja. No Maharaja, me. Great. Oh my god. Prince. Yeah, that's what I was going to guess. What thing I forgot that was. And Jinder Mahal sent out to the, to the Singh brother. Great. Reza Allah. For the Hindu gods. And in this. Of course, sent out to the ring where the Singh brothers are. It's a Neil Singh this time. It's up to Miz. Miz giving him a dirty look. I don't blame him. And the super kick! Super kick party all over again! Uh, this is one party I don't want to attend. Cold party. Boom! He across the neck and broke the Miz! Going for it again! One! Miz picks out! out. Jinder again sent to the outside! Miz doesn't want to win by count out. What the hell is he doing? He's attacking Sunil Singh. Uh, totally not. He's <laughs> him back out. Miz playing with the crowd. Oh, Jinder Mahal. Now the Miz is in control. Inside cradle. Miz got that was a schoolboy. Oh, school oh, Miz. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Arm drag. Jinder Mahal. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no! The claws! Oh god, and there's what we've done for. One! Two! Oh and my the god! Miz, the Miz has fight! Remember, the Miz beat Braun Strowman! Somehow. The Miz kicks out of the Coloss! Something Randy Orton's never done. Oh, the same brother on the other side now. This time around. Jinder will gladly take. Why, why, why is he not able to target the Miz? What? Why is he going after his lackey? I don't think he was able to target. 
Why is Jinder Mahal locked on them? It's like Jinder Mahal is forced to target black. I don't get it. Camouflage flight. Submission mode going. Yeah. This was to the outside. Then he sent back out. Well, that's common for you. <laughs> that's what they believe in. Mahal might be going to bash the beach. Oh, the hall released the hole. Oh, oh Miz kicks God. out at three. Miz kicks out at three. Oh, man. He, he barely made that. His counters. This kicks out. Just think, if Ms. Dutt or Jinder does win, he might have to deal with Strowman. Something the Miz has the clear advantage of. Oh. Oh, Mahal, be on the ropes. And the Miz kicks out at two. Excellent footwork. Mahal. This is a bad spot for Miz. Oh, no. Trying to drag Miz's lifeless body back towards the center of the ring. Miz! Figure four! I think, think Jenner's gonna get a rope break though. Jenner was too close to the ropes. He, he was. The Singh brothers distracting the referee. Which I don't even think that was necessary. Oh! Shoulder tackle to the Miz! The claw or the, the, the camel clutch. Center of the ring. Oh my god. Time to release the hold again. He's going for it again. No, he's going for a different submission. Still wasn't. 
Now he goes for the pin. Center of the ring. And Jinder Mahal. Mahal wants to go to Bash at the Beach, but so does The Miz. This hard drag. Mahal. And Miz kicks out. Oh my God. Too many close calls for The Miz. And here comes the Colossus. I don't think there will be a close call from this one. Jinder Mahal goes to the pin. And the Miz, the Miz kicks oh out. Oh my God. The Miz kicks out. This is not even our main event yet. We still have one more. He literally wants to make sure that. Oh my Nick God. Kevin, the Miz. With the luck. Had a much larger window that time. Oh no. Now Jinder's got that cross face. And again! Jinder Mahal is resilient. His counter this time. Arm drag. Look for the figure four. Mahal counters. Inside cradle. This kicks out. I know Jinder's like, what am I supposed to do to take this man down? Close line. Is it? No. Oh my god. Look at the damage the Miz is sustaining, though. Oh, went to the cross again. He actually countered it this time. Arm drag from Jinder Mahal. Still, he kicked out at two again. Somehow, some way, you gotta give Mahal credit. He's dominating. He's dominating, but the Miz has that underdog mentality. Yes. <laughs> You're forgetting something. The Miz has a main event victory at WrestleMania against John Cena. That's true. Samir Singh distracting the Miz. Oh no. No. That running knee still wasn't good enough. And there's the camel clutch. Okay, this I think the Miz is the oh Miz is struggling. He's barely holding on. There goes the Miz, and we have five stars. Jinder Mahal is in a five-star match. How do you feel? Oh, how does Heath Slater feel? True, Heath Slater didn't get a chance in this. He lost. 
Beat him. Who did he beat? Who beat him? The Mets. The Mets beat him. <laughs> Kick out that two from the Mets. The Miz beat Heath Slater. Jinder Mahal can beat the Miz. What does that say? Is it Jen? Yeah. The Miz. Jinder's here wondering how, what will it take to keep this man down. Another inside cradle. Oh, oh not even close. The Miz though. Miz is injured. Yeah, he's continuing. That's this build a fight. His will to fight. His arm drag. Jinder's gonna get another rope beat. Or did he? Oh my god! He did it! Barely. Oh my god! He should have gotten it. Oh my god. It's, it's Samir Singh's the test that he'll see! <laughs> Here's your winner! And moving on to the final! The man! over many times in the hall and at the explosive for match the hall has that now yeah. well the question is we find out tomorrow will he face Jericho or will we get another Strowman this match you better hope that it's not Strowman you better hope it isn't Strowman. Strowman's about finished with him. Now that's pretty obvious. Oh my the god. Sing the Singh brothers are fighting each other. What well, the fight each other for uh, gender's loss? <laughs> Besides, their loss is the Miz's game now as he moves on to a final and the bat that he beats. There's the movie star. The movie star. We're gonna get we're gonna press we're up in here. We're gonna try to get an update on the minutes. We'll guarantee you. Miz is definitely beat me. Yeah. Batter. Jinder Mahal probably gave Stroke. Let's just be real there. He just gave Stroke a silver flat. <laughs> It's main event time now. The open challenge. Let's see who's going to accept. It was right! It's going to be the Beast! Well then, Brock Lesnar. Making his return! We haven't seen Lesnar since the New Year's takeover! Wow. It's been forever. For the first time in forever! <laughs> <laughs> AJ Styles, of course, won back the NXT Championship. If you missed the SmackDown Twitch preview this past Sunday, beat Roman Reigns with a comeback victory. Roman Reigns dominated that match. You know what he never did? What? He never uploaded the reviews. The following contest, set for one fall, is for the NXT Championship. Oh my god, look! It's Paul Heyman! Oh man. Paul Heyman is back with the Beast! The Beast went and found some reinforcements! In Paul Heyman. Who knows, maybe having Paul Heyman's presence will actually chance of winning. Remember, Brock has exactly one victory over Randy Orton. The former. A former NXT Tag Team Champion, Brock Lesnar. Well, uh, at least he's, uh... 
Well, at least we got a win. And then somehow the new year of, uh, what's his face? Kurt Angle, the one that won this. Yeah. Kurt. Because Kurt, Kurt uh, lost to, uh, Jinder Mahal on the first, the first round. That uh, way. Uh, at least the mid beat Jinder. What was he? I mean, come on, you being battered, beaten down, and then he just comes back out of nowhere. Now it's time for the owner of the house to show up. The house that AJ Styles built. I hope his second money he turns into. Yeah. Watch Survivor Series. Real watch Survivor Series. If you want to nobody else has been able to give Brock Lesnar a full day match since he's returned. Yeah, that was just. I'm not going to watch the video itself. Exactly. His name, his nickname don't just like, it's not a nickname, that's the mm -hmm. I've seen him in real life, he said I had his hairstyle. I have a picture with, a, with the IWC picture, the same one that, um, he won't I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll actually that up. Well, let's get some more IWC. Shinsuke Speaking of which, Shinsuke versus AJ, maybe uh, if AJ can survive the Fatal Five Way, hopefully he survives it. It should have sank first out of the champion, the challenger's corner. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 286 pounds, the Beast Incarnate. The Rock Lesnar! So it's me, Fork Laser. And his opponent, out of the champion's corner from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles! AJ Styles. Gonna have it. If AJ Styles wins tonight, I hate. I, I'd love to see who's gonna accept the open challenge of Bash the Peach. AJ Styles right out of the box with the clothesline. Rock ducks. Clothesline from AJ. It's AJ Styles. There's the arm drag from AJ. Will AJ be going to Suplex City? We're going to count how many suplexes Brock can hit on AJ. That's if. That's if we even allow him. To that's if we even allow him to give him that. Another arm drag. Vintage. Money sliding clothesline from AJ. <laughs> AJ cut him off. This baseball's going to go. AJ looking to take Brock and Suplex City. That's not going to happen. The triangle of elbows to the head. Yeah. AJ needs to be lucky in order to not get a suplex. Here comes the suplex! Nope, 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 pause. I got a suplex. Remember, champion's advantage. AJ Styles retains the NXT championship on a counter order as qualification. Yeah, but I don't think AJ likes to play that way. Definitely. 
Otherwise, he probably would have took the low road up and back at uh, Clash of Champions against Roman Reigns. And back at the Royal Rumble against uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. That was a screw job. That was a screw job finish, and it was glorious. Bobby Roode wasn't in that. Oh, yeah. Well, it's good we got the reference, but still. But it was, it was pretty. AJ, moonsault! That's a moonsault from AJ. The cover. Lesnar, not even giving AJ the time of day. Just saying. Oh, no. AJ Styles! That inverted neckbreaker. As for AJ being the face that runs the place, the champ that runs the camp, the man who built this house. AJ Styles went for the drop kick. And Lesnar with another devastating clothesline flips AJ inside out. Oh. Look for a powerbomb. AJ Styles fighting back. Oh no. Well, that's one. Discus clothesline. Paul Heyman distracting AJ Styles. And there's two. We wanted to see Sue. Let's see how many suplexes this is two so far. Look for a gut wrench suplex. How many do you predict? I don't predict he'll get past five. Who knows? Is that actually drop? There's the cat killer! Middle of the ring! Of course, Brock had a similar move. Did the same damage. Point. It's called the Brock Lock. AJ hit the suplex on Lesnar. It's two to one so far. Oh my God, is this turned into a suplex contact contest? Ugh. Look at AJ Styles though. He's got the he's got the size disadvantage. There's the arm drag. Lesnar punches AJ right out of the way. For another gut wrench, AJ counters again. And Heyman's got a gutter chair. He's got a chair. This this is obviously Unless his foot was on the rope. Yep. Is he is he trying to get AJ disqualified? Will Lester disqualified him? Here's three. Three to one. Brock Lesnar. Odds of three to one. I'm trying to take my joke. AJ Styles arm drag right on that chair. Devastating clothesline again. And here's a fourth suplex. Referee got the chair out of the ring. Question here is, is he going to get more than five? He just attacked Heyman. Heyman. AJ tried to go for the phenomenal forearm. What's Lesnar doing? Psycho Sibling. Uh, maneuver minus the light break. Just get cut. Make that five. Will that be the last one? Neck breaker from Styles. And Heyman again gets involved. I, I have a feeling that Lesson Buck is at the six super. And there's number six. Who? Here we go. He hits it this time. The triple power bombs. AJ's in trouble. He is. 
the phaser will be the next champion. AJ, AJ, AJ Styles counters the F5. Excellent. Time to get up. AJ's gonna go for the Styles Flash. Styles Flash, middle of the ring. Lesnar kicks out at two. Barely. Forearm here. That style flash doesn't work. The phenomenal forearm might. Unless they're sidesteps. Make that number seven. You were mentioning something about him not. You didn't even give me a number, so it doesn't matter. Ali, oops. No. And the lion salt this time. Oh, AJ knew it was. AJ knew it wasn't gonna keep Lesnar down. And here comes Heyman again! Oh my god! AJ Styles went for another! Here's the AJ Styles legal combination! Will this be able to keep him down though? <laughs> 2K Fisher. He's just gonna go for the 450, I think. Nope, cross splash! And boom! Hey, oh. hey, again! The hell? AJ Styles. Is he actually going to try to do a Styles splash on Paul Heyman? I think. Lucky enough. Heyman keeps run Heyman keeps running interference. Look for the phenomenal forearm. Brock was wise to run away. Oh no, he's in styles. Sneaking another style squad. He's already counted this once. Again. Oh, he's not able to counter. Didn't even give the option. F5 transitional champion. AJ Styles. Gotta be quicker than the beast! What work job? Is he going for another axe knee drop? Oh. Okay, that might be enough. Who knows? Let's try it. Lesnar kicks out at two. Another cover. Is the NXT champion desperate? He might be. He just earned the title. Too back. sweet, me! No. Probably not. Too sweet.
Jack's knee. Lesnar move. Lesnar move. Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new NXT World Heavyweight Champion of the World, Barack Lesnar! Barack Lesnar's presence is you now know the game is done. We'll face Brock Lesnar past the beach. You gotta give AJ a lot of credit. He put up, he put up a good fight. The blood pour off the Lesnar's face. Scary, frightening look. Brock Lesnar is NXT champion. This is, this is uncalled for. Yes, it is. Lesnar! Lesnar! Before you attack AJ! I'm telling you right now, you attack AJ Styles, you strip to the NXT champions. Does Lesnar care? Apparently not. That's it. You're stripped of the NXT Championship. He doesn't even care. And remember, he doesn't care. Remember, the Undertaker was supposed to lose against Lesnar, but Lesnar didn't give a crap. Lesnar, you attack him one more time, you're suspended. Lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you tonight. I'm back to the uh, Hopefully, AJ Styles is alright. Hopefully, the Miz is okay. Get me on set. <laughs> um, tomorrow night on NXT TakeOver. Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels will take on Rob Van Dam. Put the hardcore title on the line. Paul's got any more back. So obviously no stipulation. Uh, and we also have Ron Strowman versus Y2J in the main event. I'm going to say the main event is not that he's taking care of it. Otherwise, he has a monster among men to deal with. He's going to catch those hands. A Strowman's off finish with me. And as for the NXT Championship, I will announce the fate of that from the pre show. The Sunday at Baptist Peak. Catch on the floor.